What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome to Not Your Status Quo. Today, we will be doing the news of the week. I'm your host, Dave. Let's get right into the stories. What we do in Shadows star Harvey Guillen is in talks for a role in the upcoming Blue Beetle movie. Also starring in this film are Melissa Escobedo, Bruna Marquezini, and Zolo Meridueña, who plays Miguel on Cobra Kai. This movie began as an HBO movie, but WB decided to make it a theatrical only release set for August 18, 2023. In WB News, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has been moved back from its original release date on December 16th of this year to March 17th of 2023. Additionally, the Flash movie has also been moved from November 4th, 2022 to June 23rd, 2023. Pandemic related issues are to blame for the delays. So this is not, and this is not the first setback for the Flash. It was first scheduled for release in 2018. But there is good news. Shazam! Fury of the Gods has been moved up to release on December 12th of this year instead of June 2023. The new release date is set for the same week as Avatar 2. Why is it so dark? Probably would have been a good idea to have like one light on. Also, the popular Justice League series on HBO Max will begin streaming the second half of the season four called Phantoms on March 31st. The first 13 episodes of the season were rela- released on October 16th, 2021. The Adam Project and Free Guy director Sean Levy is set to direct Deadpool 3. He seems to work well with Ryan Reynolds, so this should be good. Uh, Levy also directed eight episodes of Stranger Things. Sadly, William Hurt, uh, the MCU's Thunderbolt Ross, passed away this week. Hurt, who played Thunderbolt Ross in the MCU, died March 13, 2022, at the age of 71. His son, Alexander, announced the death, but did not give a cause. Although Hurt himself revealed in 2018 that he had prostate cancer. Not only a great actor in the MCU, he will be missed. I stole your juice and I gave it to these kids. Hell yeah! Harley Quinn's Kite Man is getting his own spinoff for HBO Max. The Batman villain and former fiancé of Poison Ivy has been used more for comic relief in a sea of DC characters. So we need to get there quick. Quick as a kite? Oh, God. Weather permitting. Fine. I'm guessing the mention is in Peacemaker didn't hurt him at all either. Right, kids? And that's how I defeated Kite Man. One of the world's most dangerous villains with only my two fists, my Desert Eagle, and two rocket launchers. The series is set to be a Cheers-style comedy where Kite Man runs a henchman hangout type of bar. Kind of like Weasel's Bar in Deadpool, eh? This is an animated series directed at adults. And that's all the news for this week. Please leave a comment below. Please like and share. And please subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Not Your Status Quo.